Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some of my favourite products from 2020. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. Okay, so first up is bronzer. My two favourites of the year are Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Perfect if you want that kind of flawless bronzy skin. And the Gucci Bronzer, which is perfect if you want a bit more of a radiant glow, a bit more of a warm bronze. Foundation. I've got the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Such a nice, lightweight, everyday foundation. It's really buildable, it's very dewy, it's very natural, and it's really good just for every day. On the days that I do want a bit more coverage, or I'm wearing a mask and I was going out or something, then the Born This Way Matte Foundation was a really good foundation. My favourite setting spray of the year is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is such a good product. It makes your makeup last a really long time and I also just love the way it dries down. It makes you look kind of a bit more blurred, a bit more perfected. Next up are my illuminating products and I've got so many good products. These are kind of highlighters and pre-makeup products. So first up is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Drops from Drunk Elephant. I use this under my foundation. They just give such a nice luminosity to my skin. This is the Pillow Talk Light Wand in Beauty Light Wand in 2 Medium. And I really, really like this product. When I first tried it, I didn't really like it very much because I tried using it with the applicator sponge, which is super messy. Put a little bit on the back of my hands and dab it on the high points of my cheek. It's a really nice glowy product. It gives such a natural glow and it's a really nice warm rose gold shade. So it looks really good on my skin tone. Because this is quite warm, sometimes I pair it with this, which is the Becca Glow Drops in Champagne Pop. It's a lot more of a champagne-y colour. It's a lot more cool toned than the Charlotte Tilbury one. Next up for eyes, I have two products I was not expecting to like at all this year. The Charlotte Tilbury Desert Haze Palette. I really didn't like it that much when I tried it for the first time, but I've been reaching for it a lot. It's the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow. I got this in the shade Infra Nude, and it's such a nice, fun eyeshadow to wear. It just gives you a really funky, spacey look. Other eyeshadow products I've been loving this year, which I've talked about to death, especially this one. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Colour in the shade Abyssinian. I love this so much. Such a good eyeshadow base and really, really easy to use, really wearable. Lastly, my favourite eyeshadow palette of this year has been the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 7 eyeshadow palette. This is it here. It's very soft. It's really different to anything I've ever had and I just love it. Whenever I think of it, I just love it. It's got a really nice warm chocolate brown. It's got some really cool mauvey, taupey shades and also her fun, funky shades as well. So it's a really, really cool palette and it's definitely my favourite one that she's launched recently. If you watch my videos, you'll know there's only one powder for me at the moment. This is the only powder I use. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder in the shade 500 Medium Dark. This is such a good under eye powder. It's really lightweight. It really looks like you've got nothing on, but still does a good job as a setting powder. For concealer, I've got two of my favourite concealers of the year. The Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 5N. It's a bit rich and it's a bit red, but I kind of like that and I use it as a colour corrector. And then I will top up and brighten with this one, which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 10. This is a really nice brightening concealer, but it's a really lightweight in texture, so it's really good to lay on top of other things. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencils. They've become my favourite lip pencils. I use the Pillow Talk Intense, which is this dark chocolate brown, and the Iconic Nude. I like to ombre them most of the time, but sometimes I just wear the Pillow Talk on its own. 
For mascara, there's only really been one for me this year. When I first tried this, I was still very much dedicated to the original. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. It just did so much my lashes. They looked so long, so full, so false, but not like too much. I also love the packaging of this. I think it's really cool. It's all gold with a bit of a pink writing on it and it's very different. So I love this mascara very much. This is the brush here. Lastly are my lip products. I've done a lot of videos on lip products, as you know. I don't know why when everyone's wearing masks, I'm suddenly obsessed with lip products. But my favorite lip products this year have been the Byredo lipstick in the shade Earth Dust. Just so different, so random. I've done a few videos on this. I will link them down below, but I just love this so much. It's a really mauve nude, gray mauve. Also the Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh lipstick in the shade Pose. Done a lot of videos on this as well. Really like this lipstick. It's just become such a favorite. Very similar color, but very different texture. Much more sheer and balmy and creamy and just easy going. So I love this lipstick a lot. Pat McGrath are still some of my favorite lip glosses and I've actually got one on today. This is the Flesh for all of her lip glosses are the best lip glosses and very reliable. They never let you down. Love them very much. This has kind of become my favorite this year. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Lips Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I love this lip gloss so much. It gives me like full fake lips. I don't know what it is about this lip gloss, but it's really fun and they look really full. It feels very thick. It feels very creamy. It feels like a creamy lipstick on my lips, but it looks like a gloss. Love this so much. The one I really, really like, this is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Magic. This is such a cool lip gloss. It's very gold, it's very sheer, it's very silky, it's very easy to wear, it's really nice, and I love the way it makes my lips look. I've done a video on this and I'll link it down below, but this is a really nice product. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for all of your support throughout this whole year and always thank you so much for watching all of our videos and for supporting slap if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one